everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button it's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads i would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you up top there's three little buttons you can click there and slow down the video to the speed you'd like also right next to it there's the cc uh, letters for closed caption you can turn that on and you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's Everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia, number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're going to create today a round doily to match the gold bling table runner that I had launched yesterday. I will put a picture up here just to remind some of you, or some of you are new to the channel, don't know what I'm talking about in case you missed it. When I will be doing the editing, I'll put a little picture down here or up there so you will have a look at what I'm talking about. The only thing is I'm going to create this as a base only and throw it into the playlist as mode of uh, base for patterns because a lot of times I create a lot of patterns with this base and I'm doing the complete project and I should really keep always one as a base separate so you can do whatever you want with it because there's so many patterns you can create with this type of base and the length you would like also by always increasing two at the end of the last double crochet. Now a lot of you are familiar with this pattern but there's always new people coming to the channel or beginners that don't know the pattern. So for that reason, I'm having this pattern separated from the doily. 
and then I'll continue to create the doily from there. Okay, please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And thank you so much for being part of this journey with me. I send much hugs to all of you and want to let you know I use four ply. These are Portugal threads, similar to Aunt Lydia, number three, which I prefer Aunt Lydia for the doilies because it makes it bigger. It's a little bit thicker. I will be using um, either a 2.5 or a 3, not 2.5, but 2.75 or a 3, 3.5 hook um, on my thread. Of course, you'll need a pair of scissors and a small one to tuck in your loose ends, okay? So, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps to grow the channel. It also helps if you share pub publicly on your Facebook or with your friends and family. Sharing is caring. And thank you for the women that came through for the thread, for the women in need of thread, and also highly grateful and appreciated for the ones that have donated as in money-wise. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure from theirs too. God bless. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is that magic circle. Now, some of you still have a hard time with it. You can do a six chain. Now, I'm thinking this is probably the last pattern tutorial for this year, 2022. Eventually, I will do a video with all the pattern creations that I've done this year from the beginning of the year. Okay, so we've did a chain. I'm going to come back in and do a single and one chain. Inside of this circle, I'm going to do 11 more double crochets because the one single one chain is a double crochet. So we'll have a total of 12 double crochets. It's going to be a fast, short tutorial because it's just, you know, a repeat uh, rows constant the same way. So there's no point in recording it until the end. And then I'll go into the second video to finish up the doily because this will be like a base for anything. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end once I finish my 12 double crochets. So I finished doing my 12 double crochets and I'm going to come in to the second, not the single one chain, but the second double crochet that we did with a slip stitch. And why am I doing this? I'm doing this so I can not have like a, a, a line showing going all the way up. And then I'm going to pull my string a bit. I'm going to come into the next one. I'm going to turn my pattern and I'm going to pull this thread to the back and then turn around again. I'm going to come into the same space as we brought our thread to the back and do a single and one chain. In the same space, I'm going to do another double crochet. Next space, actually, one chain space. Next space, two double crochets together. One chain, next space, two double crochets together. So basically, we are doing an increase per each double crochets. So we'll have a total of 24 double crochets. Now, of course, like I mentioned, this is going to be a base mostly for any pattern you want to create, but I am going to continue on the second video with the tutorial for the doily for the table runner I created. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I'm on my last one, my 12th one. I'm going to do one chain. Now I'm going to come in on my chain after I've done that single, which is the first double crochet. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to come in the same space and create a single and one chain. This equals a double crochet. Now we're going to start to do again the increase. Next space, double crochet, and on the same space, another double crochet. So this time we're going to have three double crochets separated, one chain between them. And again, one double crochet. On your second double crochet, we are going to do two double crochets together. One chain space into the next one. One double crochet and two together. And again, one chain, one double crochet on my second one. I'm going to do two together. One chain space. And you continue on. So you're going to have your 12 groups of three double crochet on this row three. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I finished row three. I close in with a slip stitch on my chain that we went up single one chain. Now for some of you, sometimes you're your stitch is too tight. Always remember to use a bigger hook. And my double crochet, normal size uh, for my double crochet, uh, single and two chain. Now sometimes it depends on the thread too. Sometimes I have to do a single and two chain. In this case, I'm doing a single and one chain. Okay, so we went up, we closed, I went slip stitch, I came back in the same space, I did a single and one chain, that equals a double crochet, I'm coming into the second one, so we're going to keep doing an increase by adding two on the last one, so on this row four, I'll have four double crochets, one chain space, into the next one, double crochet, next space, double crochet, next space, two together okay so very simple nothing to it we're going to do this all the way around that's why i told you there's no point in me keep recording repeatedly the same thing because this pattern you can go the size you want just by continuing to add always one at the end one chain space and you can create whatever borders you like, singles, doubles, uh, triples, you name it. Shells, things like that, right? So simple. One chain, double crochet on the next one, double crochet on the next one. And two double crochets together on my last one. This is how we're going to do our increase for the pattern to keep growing and show that motive, right? Let me try the end. So I finished row four. I did my chain. I went into my chain here after my single, which is the first double crochet. I'm coming back in just so the line won't stand out too much from the other ones in one chain. Some of you might have to do a single and two chains. It's up to you, depending upon the size of your double crochet. Again, we're doing one per space. Coming to the last one, we're doing two together. This is our increase. Now, with this doily, I'm going to go until si um, 10 rows. So if you're interested to create this specific doily that I'm going to finish it up on the second video, then you'll know that I'll be doing until row 10. So that means you should be having on your last row 10 double crochets. That's included with the two um, double crochets increase at the end of every row so that means the last one you should have 10 double crochets okay so i'm just gonna stop here because there's no point of repeating so you know that 
Now we're at row five. One, two, three, four, five. Then row six, you'll have six double crochets, always an increase at the end. Row seven, you'll have seven. Row eight, row nine, and row ten. Always putting, uh, if your stitch is extremely tight, then you can do a two chain space, okay? Not necessarily that you have to only do one. It all depends upon your tension. Uh, remembering that people have extremely tight tension. Go two or three size bigger on your hook always, okay? So I will see you on the next tutorial, which is the finishing complete of the doily. And uh, thank you so much to every single one of you. Like I said, it's a very short one. So we're just going to, I have 10 row, rows here already on this one, which I'm going to continue now my tutorial on the next video. And we will see each other soon. Uh, in case I don't do any other videos, I want to wish everybody a happy new year, 2023, with much, much abundance and all your wishes fulfilled, much health, most important, and of course, a lot of growth in spirituality because we all need God in our lives in order to pull through all the tribulations and tests and endurance that we go through all year long. So I send you much love and much hugs. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time. Bye-bye.